In question 9 part A, we're asked to find the sum of the interior angles of a polygon with seven sides. Now there's an equation for working out the sum of those interior angles, and that equation is, so if we say the sum of the interior angles, and that equals 180 bracket n minus 2, where n is the number of sides. So that then gives us 180 multiplied by 7 minus 2. That is 180 multiplied by 5, which gives us the answer of 900 degrees. So that means all the interior angles add up to 900. Now, in the second part, part B, it asks us to work out this value x. Now, what we know is that all of the interior angles, so that would essentially be all of these ones here, they all, all of them, add up to 900. And we have in total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of those. So what we know is that each of those angles then, each of those interior angles, will be 900 divided by 7, <coughs> which gives 128.57. So we know that each of those angles is equal to that. So we know that this here, this angle here, this is also 128.57. Now, looking at this triangle here now, we know that the angles in a triangle add up to 180. We know that two sides of this triangle are equal because they're the sides of a regular polygon. So that means that this angle is equal to this angle here. This is an isosceles triangle. So what that tells me is that if I do 180 minus that one interior angle that I know, 128.57, <coughs> that will, sorry, it's meant to say minus, so 180 minus that, that will give me 51 point four three if we round it up but we've got two of those angles that add up together to make that so that means if I divide that by two I will get twenty five point seven uh, point seven one and then doing it correct to one decimal place twenty five point seven